Hey everybody, this is Kyle. Here's a clip from a live stream with Matthew, and we're checking out blues guitar player Samantha Fish. And this is her live version of Shake 'em On Down. And this is our first time listening to this blues guitar player. And you'll just have to stay tuned to see if she brings as much energy as you'd expect when you hear the term blues guitar player. Samantha Fish. And um, this was something in my YouTube suggested column. And I kept seeing her name and it looked kind of interesting. So I clicked on it so I could bookmark it. And I think I've heard like maybe two seconds in doing that. And that is all I know about this person. Uh, they are suggested. Um, they appear to be playing music somewhere and uh, shake them shake them on down. I, I would guess that's kind of bluesy. <laughs> it sounds like an old blues song or something. Yeah, I guess I guess you could say it. Sounds yeah. Like so if if Matthew or I say something that is completely wrong, keep in mind, we don't know. We do not know her. We know nothing about her besides what I just said, just for all those nice little people that like to uh, jump on us. Okay. Um, I, I, <laughs> I, I do know one thing, uh, and this is from observation. It appears yeah. that she's going to be playing a cigar box guitar. Okay. I'm looking at the, the thumb and I can't see that much detail. Okay. You are correct. So without further ado, Matthew and Kyle react to Shake Em On Down, Samantha Fish live in Las Vegas. Music you can see dot com. Here we go. There you go. All right, y'all. All right. I'm liking this. You guys know how to have fun. I mean, and it's turned out to be a beautiful day. Yeah. Love it. All right, so we're going to do an old, uh, an old song for you. It's called Shake Em On Down. We say it's about dancing, but I'm pretty sure it's about robbing your drug dealer. <laughs> but for now, we'll say it's dance away, you know? Dancing with your drug dealer. Dancing with your drug dealer. <laughs> I'm sure that's happening out here as we speak.
attention to dynamics i love the build especially on that big incredibly long solo yeah i just loved how they came down to almost nothing and then you know she just totally just owned that solo with a total like you know like slow burn build it was just awesome and then when they all came crashing back into that hook man i couldn't help myself I was like, yeah <laughs> yeah awesome um and and the the drummer did a really good job um like making it really lively mm -hmm. and i feel like i feel like the drummer had a really good use of all the symbols and um it just made it sound really bright and dancey and then yeah. the bass player, I got to give credit because most of the bass line was incredibly simple. Not all of it, not all of it, but most of it was really simple. And like on these kind of songs where your bass line's really simple, it's crucial not to rush. It's crucial to like put those notes exactly on the beat, not even the yeah. tiniest hair ahead. Yeah, he and was he so did in a pocket. Incredible job of reining in along with the drummer but reining them in so they didn't speed up yeah and keeping them grounded in that initial start tempo yeah i i the sound of that guitar and i was i was trying to follow the chord uh you know because as we we're talking about gear earlier it looked like she was using that that uh fender blackface amp that might have been a deluxe if i was seeing it right because there was an old fender tweed off more like the bass player side but yeah, um, I, I wish the drums would have been a little bit louder. I mean, uh, you saw the the huge blues fest banner, and that means guitars are going to be way too loud. You know, <laughs> it's just, it's a little insider information for anybody that likes blues music. Not that that's a bad thing. Um, I I love the tone of that cigar box guitar and that blackface amp. That was so so archetypical. I mean, that's. You know, and, and I know guitar players of the last 20, 30 years have a whole different idea in their head of what a guitar should should sound like. But me growing up like on Black Sabbath, Alice Cooper, Kiss, that guitar, that's that's you know, I'm I'm gonna write Webster's dictionary and say, hey, here's a, here's the definition for electric guitar for you. Um yeah, there were sometimes um I, I was gonna say I was following the time so I could uh, make a, a more uh, specific comment. Like around the four minute mark, maybe three fifty to four twenty ish. Um, sure, and, and that's not a code, <laughs> but you know, specific on the time. Um, the the way she was grooving and and the band was just locked together. And then it's funny because right as I was looking at the time, she kind of stepped out, and I didn't know if 
because I know people that don't play a slide like on guitar, you, you hear it and, and you were talking about things being locked in. And to me, when I hear a slide player, the, the drummer and bass have to be locked in because the, the notes on a slide guitar, the timing gets a little sloppy, but that's part of the sound. That's part of the aesthetic that, you know, makes that Ooh. sound is the, the notes is kind of, you know, instead of, uh, 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 it's, you know, they just kind of fade in and out. And there was a part where, you know, she did something. I didn't know if she messed up. She did the blues player thing of sort of playing it again. And then she modified that pattern pretty quick and kept this kind of thing. But there was something a little clunky for just a little bit. I'm a guitar player. If I play a gig and I don't have something clunky, it's not a real gig. So that is not a criticism. It's just, totally. you know, part of part of playing live music. Um, it was cool because the band kept going. No, the audience, you know, kept that vibe. and what you said that the points of contrast bringing it down to near nothing exploding it you have a huge sound that is so much fun you know that is it, it's it's fun to listen to and blues music is repetitive by nature i mean you know blues has been the blues for what like a hundred years now you know and it's like you know there's this little variances um but part of that aspect of repetition is how infectious it is. I mean, there's a reason why that style of music keeps persisting, you know? 